Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the Buzzword by Sri Ram Eye Study Center where we discuss about relevant topics associated to the issues in news. Yesterday, the Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment released a notification uh, to constitute a three-member panel to look into the question of according SC status, scheduled caste status to the members of Dalit community who have Uh, converted from hinduism to religion uh, religions other than buddhism and sikhism in this video we shall discuss about the development in detail and we'll also talk about the background of the development in this video we shall be covering what is the news associate uh, associated constitutional provisions the background of the development and the union's stand on according sc status to such dalits So what's in uh, so what's in news? Uh, as noted earlier, the, a notification was released yesterday by the Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment for the formation of a three-member panel to look into the question. Uh, now it is important to note that only Hindu, Sikh, and Buddhist Dalits are included in Centre's SC list. The same is not applicable for the Dalits who have converted from Hinduism to any other religion other than Sikhism and Buddhism. talking about the constitution of the panel the uh, the panel will be headed by uh, former chief justice of india kg bala krishnan and will also include former I- ias officer uh, ravindra kumar jain and a ugc member sushma yadav as its members the panel ha- uh, has been given a year, uh, time for time of 2 years to submit a report now the question is what the panel is supposed to do what the panel will be doing and what are the questions that panel will be wrestling with the prime question that panel will uh, be evaluating is that what kind of changes are come in come in an individual's life in terms of socio economic status after having converted from hinduism to any other religion specifically religions other than sikhism and buddhism the commission's inquiry will also expand into the areas uh of examining that what kind of changes an sc person undergoes uh, after uh, converting to another religion and this will include examining their traditions custom social and other forms of discrimination and how and uh, whether they have changed as a result of conversion in total the implications of these changes on the question of including them as sc will be examined having talked about the panel and its task now let's talk about what are the con- uh, constitutional provisions associated to this development meaning uh, about the constitution of the panel and who has the power uh, to include or exclude a particular community uh, in the center's sc list or st list as well uh, so part 16 special provisions relating to certain classes of the constitution of india from article th- 330 to 342 contains provision relating to measures of upliftment and representation of certain social classes and these measures include reservation of se- uh, reservation of seats in uh, state and union legislature for scs sts and anglo indians reservation for scs and sts in government jobs uh provision and uh, the constitution of national commissions to act as watchdogs uh, for the rights of these classes and uh, the part 16 also includes uh, uh, provisions associated to notification of a group of people as scs and sts in the given context a presidential order was issued in 1950 a uh, formally called the constitution scheduled caste order 1950 under article 341 which gives the power to the president of india mm-hmm. to notify a group of people as scheduled caste and thereby gives power to the parliament to include or exclude a community from the list of scs uh, scs and uh, here it is a uh, prerogative to note that uh, only Uh, here we are uh, ex- exclusively talking about the central list not the list of uh, states states also have power to notify a group of people as scs and sts
the uh, the order stipulated that no person professing a religion different from hinduism sikhism or buddhism can be deemed to be a member of a scheduled caste the original order uh, under which only hindus were classified was later amended to include sikhs in 1956 and buddhists in 1990s when we are talking about uh, the provisions associated to notification of a community as scs it is all uh, it is quite pertinent to talk about uh, provisions associated to notification of communities as sts as well and also uh, as other backward classes so article 340 which give, gives power to the president thereby to the union to appoint a commission to investigate the conditions of backward classes so the case we are talking about where three member panel has been constituted the pa- the panel has been constituted uh, under article 340 it means that the union has exercised its power under article 340 article 342 like article 341 gives power to the president and thereby to the union to notify include or exclude a group of people as sc sorry st uh, here uh, here it is written sts uh, here it sorry here it is written scs uh, it should be sts scheduled tribes uh article 342a uh, article 342a was inserted uh, through 102nd constitutional amendment and it gives power to the president and thereby to the union uh, to notify include or exclude a group of people as a socially and educationally backward class the provision article 342a was not in place prior to 2018 it was included in 2018 through 102nd constitutional amendment which identify social and educational backwardness uh, uh, as all, also being causes of uh, backwardness in terms of uh, our social st- one individual social standard uh, and um, and the union government uh, give power to the president and thereby to itself to include or exclude a group of people as a social uh, as a socially and educationally backward class now let's talk about the background of the development that how we came to this point um, where a panel is being constituted for looking into the question that if uh, we should give a uh, sc status to the dalits who have converted from hinduism to other religion specifically if we talk uh, specifically to uh, to christianity or islam uh, so this has not uh, happened overnight in 2020 the national council of christian dalits filed a pil in the supreme court of india demanding accordance of sc status to the dalits who have converted from hinduism to any other religion other than sikhism and buddhism in august 2022 the supreme court had directed the center to submit a current uh, submit its current position on the issue and directed all parties to submit their written submissions 3 days prior to the next hearing that is on october 11 2022 uh many similar petitions have been piling up in uh, in the courts across the country uh, since 2004 the petitioners argued that converting to other religion from hinduism does not undo the socio economic outcomes of historical oppression and discrimination as well as they are subjected to discrimination by their fellow uh, by their fellows of new religion therefore to aid their development uh, they should be accorded the status of scs by the union so that they could also uh, enjoy the benefits of reservation the petition is challenging the religion uh, religious cri- religion criteria for inclusion or uh, uh, for inclusion in the top court have cited several independent commission reports since the first backward class commission headed by uh, kaka kalikar in 1955 that have documented the existence of caste and caste discrimination among indian christians and indian muslims including that dalit uh, converts continue to face the same social, uh, social disabilities even after leaving the hindu faith so it is very important to uh, talk about kaka kalikar commission uh, in 1955 formally called first backward class commission there it was noted that uh, hindu uh, sorry 
Indian Christians and Indian Muslims Dalit uh, Christians and Dalit Muslims also face discrimination similar to uh, Hindu Dalits Hindu Dalits and uh, Hindu Buddhist uh, sorry Buddhist Dalits and Sikh Dalits uh, and they continue to face such disabilities even after leaving the Hindu food uh, this is the petitioner also further also cited other reports like report of of the uh, committee on untouchability economic untouchability economic and educational development of so, uh, scheduled caste in 1969 the hpp report on hcs sts and minorities in uh, 1983 and the report of the prime minister high level committee formed in 2006 a 2008 study conducted by national commission for minorities uh, and rang nathan uh, mishra commission report among others In addition to this National Commission for Scheduled Caste and National Commission for Minorities had also recommended providing SC status to Dalit Muslims and Christians in affidavit filed before the Supreme Court in 2011 in 2011 National Commission for Scheduled Caste and uh, National Commission for Minorities had uh, recommended providing SC status to uh, to the Dalits who have converted to Islam and Christianity in an affidavit filed before the Supreme Court in 2011 only but it is interesting to note that that several uh, representatives of existing ST com- SC communities have staunchly been, been opposing uh, the inclusion of conver- converts to other religion so now let's talk about the union government stand The union government has been resistant toward any such demands of inclusion of non-Hindu, Sikh, and Buddhist Dalits into the list of SCs. And the union government uh, has it has its stand for some reasons, uh, and they uh, raised the demand for following grounds because of following grounds. First, uh, f- for the government, uh, there is a dearth of empirical evidences to support the notion that. uh the dalits who convert who have converted uh, to christianity or islam or any other religion other than sikhism and buddhism uh lag in in social uh, in social and economic terms uh despite having numerous reports in this regard uh, uh, the union says that these reports cannot act as evidence of continued social disability due to caste identity noting that there did not uh, there did not uh, exist any uh, exist enough empirical evidence to support this and in all the reports cited dalit buddhists cannot be compared to dalits who have converted to islam or christianity the union government says that the the dalits who have converted to uh, Buddh- buddhism and sikhism have con- uh, have converted voluntarily quote and quote voluntarily Uh, whereas uh, the individuals who have converted uh, from hinduism to islam and christianity had other factors also in play therefore they cannot be accorded the status the conversion were voluntary on the account of some innate socio political imperatives in the case of the latter while the conversions might have taken place on other account on the account of other factors in case of christianity and islam this is the stand of the union government third uh, third point which the government presents is the religion uh, the religions allowed to be included in scs were brand were branches or offshoots of hinduism uh, hinduism and dalits uh, who co- who converted to islam or christianity uh, uplifted, uplifted their social status by way of their conversion and cannot claim to be backward since since untouchability is a feature of hindu religion and its branches alone the center government says that uh, the sc status can be accorded only to the individuals who are members of either hinduism or the offshoots of hinduism namely sikhism and buddhism because the uh, the case of untouchability exists only uh in hinduism and its offshoots not in other religions like uh in islam and christianity therefore granting sc status is not possible and they and therefore 
the Dalits who have converted to Christ, uh, Christianity and Islam cannot claim to be backward since untouchability is a feature of Hindu religion and its branches alone. Concludingly, it is important. Uh, it is quite interesting and important to note what the Social Justice Ministry had to say when they released the notification. Uh, I am quoting. This is a seminal and historical, com historically complex sociological and co uh, constitutional question, and a definite matter of public importance. Given its importance, sensitivity, and potential impact, any change in the definition in this regard should be on the basis of a detailed and definitive study and an extensive consultation with all stakeholders and no commission under the Commission of Inquiry Act uh, has so far inquired into the matter. As, as we noted earlier, uh, in the very first point, the very first argument which the central government gives, that we do not have any empirical evidence to support the argument that SC, uh, that the Dalits who have converted to Christ, uh, Christianity and Islam or any other religion other than Sikhism and Buddhism uh, lack in social and economic terms after uh, having converted from Hinduism. To get that empirical evidence, it is important to inquire into these questions in detail. Therefore, Social Justice Ministry says that we have constituted this uh, on this panel and this panel will uh, descriptively look into this question so this was for today guys i hope you liked the video if you did like the video please do like and share uh, share and subscribe